Hey, everybody. So, uh, you know what? It's a video about the man who threw bleach on the teenager. Okay. And I guess some people, you know, we can agree to disagree. And some people had a one in particular had an issue with me. And we're going to go ahead and get to it. But, um, Uniquely Vicky, I want to go with some, uh, a few comments, then I want to go over to one that said, you got some nerve, ma'am. Okay, and, and I do have nerve to say what I said. Uh, why is the teenage daughter working at night like this here? Because guess what? In the black community, you're a black woman, you expected to work. Hello, congratulations. Childhood, being counsel, being a teenager, yeah, nah, you ain't going to be Gidget. <laughs> I'm sorry, 90210. Get to work, get to work, get to work. But I wish, you know, I wish a lot of females had that same idea when they deal with these men that they have children with. We sure know how to rustle up these daughters to get, get a job going. What about these sons mm -hmm. and the men in their lives that help you create the children? So, and again... Worse to that, as Uniquely Vicky said, I mentioned that. She said, I know it's the same thing. The father never gets called to show up in these situations. He, they probably have his phone number. And even if they did call him, he probably wouldn't even show up. He probably wouldn't even show up. That's the thing about it. Now, this person here, Lacey Jones, 5490. And again, we can agree to disagree. So Lacey Jones says daddy could be dead or deadbeat who knows has nothing to do with having a minor work in late hours i know kids with both parents and this kind of ish happens and i'm gonna have to disagree it does have in my opinion my point of view have a lot to do with kids working late hours because if you had a father that was contributing financially to the home guess what the kid would need to be working but see, when you're a black woman, oh, that's what expected of you, girl. Get to work, get to work, get to work when you're a black woman. You're going to have to go ahead and hit it. You ain't no princess. Oh, yeah. When you're a black woman, that's what expected. Get to work, get to work, get to work. We're going to have to go ahead and be up on it. That, that's the norm. If the father was in the home, again, two incomes, I'm assuming she and the mother have a place to live. So... If he was contributing, she would need that job. She could dedicate more time to her studies and be safety in her room. And guess what? She wouldn't be at that restaurant working at night and that wouldn't have happened. I'm not saying it's her fault, the dad's fault. But guess what? If she wasn't there, it wouldn't have happened. But the fact that her having to obviously work at that restaurant during those times, having to work at all as a teenager, being put in that position, that exposed her to this possibility. If the father was contributing, he wouldn't need to have, the daughter Papa wouldn't need to work unless what she just wanted to do. But here's one thing that I find so very, very interesting. Um, and this thing about it, when it's a black woman, get to it. So Chagall on 92 says, by the way, Miss Chagall, you may be one of the arts. I only have a poster from the Museum of Louvre uh, in France. And it is actually just a poster of um, Chagall. So I don't have any artwork. I'm not wealthy like that. But when I, when I see that name, I just think about the artist, you know, Chagall. I, I really do. So Chagall on 92 6 says, I did not work until college. I took a summer job at Kmart. I was 20. My parents did not want me working past 10 o'clock. Why? Bad things, more, a lot can happen. She said, Kmart was known for scheduling you as a full-time employee, despite being characterized as part-time. That girl should not be working. I agree. But see, in Blackistan, that's what this, you're a black woman. The working mule of the community, the work mule of America. Oh, she can go ahead and do it. She'll be all right. And she wasn't all right. Now the girl fired ahead. She quit the job. Now the girl has quit the job. Unbelievable. So yeah, if the father was in the home, even if he wasn't in the home, if he was maintaining his financial responsibility, she probably need, would need to work there. And in most cases, she's not necessarily working there to uh, buy a vehicle or pay the insurance while mom buys a vehicle. It's probably to help contribute to the bills. Love 83 Forever says she shouldn't be even working at all. I wouldn't have... Hello? 
I wouldn't have my team doing fast food work, only corporate internships during the summer. I will take care of mine until she leaves college and gets her first job. Little Buttercup should be protected and pampered. Poor baby. Now, now. Love 83 Forever says, Little Buttercup should be protected and pampered, but she's not. She's a black teen. Not protected, pampered. This is pampered. If you look at how the community operates, most of them don't even think even the young girl should be pampered. Or she can go ahead and get a job. No, because they're sitting up here pam uh, pampering these Timberland Warren princes. Well, we don't want to put that on him. I love this. Little Buttercup should be protected and pampered. Again, if the father, even though he's not in the home, if he was maintaining his financial obligation, maybe she could have been at home, protected and pampered in her room. But she's working there for a reason. And I doubt it's a hobby. I doubt it is a hobby. Diana Prince, it is what it is. She said the corporate in internship, that's what's up. And, and it's safer. A213 apiece. Exactly. Now, Latrice Lee, girl, can you say it again for the ones in the back? She said these moms desperately want their daughters to bring in income and contribute to the household. And I'm willing to bet you that's why she was there. I was looking at the team. Most, let's say she was doing that. Um, if they're just spending money on them, hair and nails. This little girl right here. Not insulting. I just don't see it being pampered. I don't see a salon apartment based on the hairstyle. I'm just saying. Latrice Lee, if they only had that kind of energy for the men. But look, girl, we, look, we know what time it is. If they only had that energy for the men, it would be really, really super fantastico. These moms desperately, yes, want their daughters to bring an income to contribute to the household. And I've seen situations like this where the mama and a daughter is working. And guess what? They got a teenage son. Oh, no. Seeing one where the mama got a boyfriend. He's at home chilling. That's it. Too many see their daughters as a mere work hard. Well, I had to do it so she can do it too. That's it. Bring in some income. Be the breadwinner. But if only if they had felt that way about the men in their lives, you know, the ones that they had those children with. I'm just saying. If only they had felt that way about the men in, the, in their lives, the one that they were laying down with and going through the shh, shh, push, push, shh, shh, push, push. Did you have that kind of a mindset toward him? No, but see, uh, this, this is Blackistan. Black girl, get to work. You got one job. Why can't you have two? And I, I agree. Again, I don't know the woman, so I can't confirm and den or deny. But speaking for what I see from the collective, oh, it's not uncommon for the black girl to have a job, child. While mama got one, she does too. She's sitting up or she know to get to hustling. Being a, a normal teen and being home in your room. Hey, we, we were. My father bought us vehicles. I think my sister got like a part-time job or somewhere to contribute. But my dad, I didn't go sit. My, my dad took me to the dealership and I picked it out and he signed and trying to get me established on my credit. My father, when I had my first new car, the first car was a used car. Then I got a new car. Uh, the used car, my dad gave it to me. Yeah, that that's what happened. My father. The first brand new car, my father purchased it for me. I didn't even come down with five cents for a down payment. My dad, because that's what they do. So this here, oh, I so agree. They want their daughters to go ahead and get to working and working and working. Make me some money. Bring, bring a check in here. And I see you, I, I can look at the teen and tell. I doubt it's to sit up here and have, well, when I go to the mall to supplement my allowance, most of our daughters don't even get a daughter allowance. And then that's the problem. When it is black women, when it's black women, I think that's what they see. That that's what they see. Well, she can go get a job. She has to go. She can go ahead and go do something. But 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 when you met that man, 
and had a relationship with him? I'm just asking. When you met that man and had a relationship with him, um, did he go get a job? Did Cletus go get a job? Did, did, did he? Well, you know, he was in between. Sure. Sure, ma'am. Sure. He was in between positions at the time. But yeah, I think they want the daughters to get to hustling. To get to hustling, get get to hustling. Uh, uh, unbelievable. DJ VQ4 V. I said, why is a teenager working at a fast food restaurant late at night anyway? Did anybody else notice this? Blackistan. Blackistan. Mm-hmm. Black Blackistan. Unbelievable. So this lady said, wise one dash yy. 6TS said, where's the father? Teens closed stores since I was a teen working at Winners in 1997. Both my mother and my father were congratulations. They were active parents and so were mine. And I wanted to work well good for you, darling. She said, I didn't have to. They never failed me. You have some nerve, ma'am. My mother and father are awesome grandparents to this day. You will never have more than a few more subscribers than you have now. Well, I beg to differ because I think we're doing okay. Yeah, I'm a happy camper. I think we're doing okay, darling. Honestly and truly. That's the issue right there. Teen closing stores. Yep. And that's the issue with black women. Black women been sitting up here working like being the muse of America. A teen closing a store. And in this day and age, what the hell is that all about? A teen closing a darn store knowing the stores are getting robbed. A black girl, her mother had a store, y'all. Sure did. And guess what happened? Having a business is how the girl ended up deceased. Yeah. What happened? The Dusty showed up. They showed up. Well, they say, and you know the rest. Yes, I have nerve because, see, I can see beyond that. That's the norm for a black teenage girl to have a job. Oh, it is the norm. That's the norm for her to sit up here and be paying rent to her mama. That's the norm for her to be sitting up here and help pay the bills that the black father sure as hell didn't. Yeah, so have some nerve. No, the BC has some nerve to continue to keep on uh, carrying the seed of poverty. D. Then you're sitting up here with your daughters and you expect them to sit up here and bring home a check. Did your man bring home a check? But you got pregnant by him. Speaks volumes. Speaks volumes. No, the DC, that they got some nerve to keep all this nonsense on. Again, DJ just VJ 4V. I said, why is a teenager working at a fast restaurant late night anyway? Girl, it's a black girl. They, they, they don't care. Why? Latrice Lee, can we put on the billboard, please? Says, and I totally concur. These moms desperately, they want their daughters to bring home income and contribute to the household. And don't forget, these same moms, they'll be saying that too. This is the part that blows my mind. They will have that energy for their daughter, but they'll have a grown man sitting up there. Does he work? Well, also, you, it's not serious. It's not uncommon for this group to sit up here and have their daughters sitting up here working. I'm, I'm, I'm very serious. And they'll have a man that doesn't. Neek, Neek can go get a job. Brenda can. Why is she the, late at night? So, no, I must have some nerve. Yeah, I want black women to wake the hell up. Cause what we're doing, no, it's not. It's it's not. It's not looking too cool. It's it, it, hey, my, it's not looking too cool. They, you got some nerve. Yeah, I do. I have the nerve, ma'am, and that's your opinion. You know, I disagree. Still respect you, but that's your opinion. But that's the problem with with the BC. We keep on doing the same thing over and over again. Uh, how is it helping? Why aren't the sons doing this? I'm asking for a friend. But this to me is so true. These moms desperately, yes ma'am, they want their daughters to bring home some income to contribute to this household. What can you do? Two men to see their daughters as a mere workhorse. Yep. But do they see that man as a workhorse? Or do they see that man as a provider? I'm just asking for a friend. 
Do they see that man as a workhorse? Well, I don't want to put too much on him. He just got out of jail. All these excuses. And because they're having children by low performative men, they can't do a darn thing. But hey, she got one. Whoopee. They have a daughter. It's expected. And because they even coddle the men in their lives, they'll coddle their sons. I wouldn't be surprised he's sitting up at home with a joystick down. What's he doing? He's sitting down so much in my audio. You, you wonder if his guy Kaus is on his butt. But hey, why is a young girl there? Mr. Trish Lee and all the other comments. They desperately want their daughters to bring home income to contribute to the household. But they don't. Do, do the mothers have, speaking in general, do they have the same energy for a man? I think not. And that's why that young girl working at, in my opinion, is highly probable, because I don't know them personally, but in my opinion, it's highly probable when women don't have the kind of energy for the men in their lives, like he's got to have a job, he's got to bring some income for you to, you know, live in a household, because these men, a lot, a lot of times, living off of them free. I think not. It's a different kind of energy. And that's why that daughter was at Burger King, that fast food, having to hit that clock. Anyway, thanks for watching. Feel free to comment. Like, subscribe, dislike, and share, and I'm out. Thanks for commenting.